Hey guys, it's uh, Zero here, and uh, today, um, well, I just got away from the TV watching the awesome and amazing uh, Spotlight on Nintendo from E3, and uh, you know, since I'm really, um, you know, known for uh, handling Nintendo-related things, I figured I'd do uh, a quick breakdown of uh, what uh, many of us have seen, and if you haven't seen it, just break down what you could expect um, in the future of Nintendo and uh, what I think is going to make or break the system and you know my views on it and uh, you know feel free on the comments after this to uh, you know to share your views but uh, let's, let me start and break down what I think I see in uh, Nintendo's future after the E3 conference Okay, one, let's start with the beginning of the entire conference. Uh, I think that they came out very strong. Uh, they announced, um, you know, I didn't know about it and I'm proud of it. Uh, 25th anniversary of the Legend of Zelda series. Fantastic series. You know, groundbreaking storyline and uh, beloved by fans everywhere and one of the crown ships of Nintendo. Uh, you know, the whole orchestra thing in the beginning, like, I was just blown away hearing the great compilations of The Legend of Zelda music throughout the years just put into this whole big, you know, creative and magical, you know, type of, you know, compilation. And, you know, I just, it really impressed me. And, uh, going away from that, you know, also, you know, they also said that there's gonna be, um, live, uh, you know, orchestra concerts, um, throughout the world, you know, hopefully I'll be able to go to one, because I'd love to fucking see that, it's, you know, it's fucking Legend of Zelda, come on, who doesn't like Legend of Zelda movies? Uh, so, away from that, uh, the first thing that they talked about, they went right into it, uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, um, I was watching it last year when they were talking about the Skyward Sword, where, uh, the creator was with his little Legend of Zelda shield and his, you know, sword being like a little kid. And you gotta, you gotta love the creator. He's, he's so, so childlike in his imagination. It's just, you know, it's creepy and it's funny at the same time. Right, right down to it, they uh, didn't really go into detail about the other stuff about it. They really just did that last year. They just really announced that Legend of Zelda is coming back. Um, also announced that uh, there's going to be... Uh, you know, you know, they announced that, you know, coming this weekend, there's going to be the Ocarina of Time 3D edition, which, um, a lot of people are going to like. You know, Legend of Zelda Ocarina, one of the best Legend of Zelda games, in my opinion. You know, I don't think any Legend of Zelda game will ever beat it. I mean, Twilight Princess was very good, but, you know, you know Ocarina has always had a place in my heart. You can always suck at it if you can't beat it. Um, going away from that, they really, on this, um... On this E-Free coverage, they really focused on the Nintendo 3DS. I mean, because um, they said in the beginning that uh, the sales for the Nintendo 3DS were going down. You know, they haven't, they didn't really get the predicted amount of um, consumer, you know, activity they, that they were hoping to get um, throughout the years. So, you know, they, you know... I think that they saw this as a problem and they just jumped right to it and announced, listen, we're going to have so many great Nintendo 3DS titles to you, the fans, and we're going to deliver it. And basically all the 3DS games that I believe are going to really make you know, sales go up are coming this holiday season. New Mario Kart, which is, uh, I think has a lot of elements that are related to uh, the popular N64 game Digicom Racing. Um, basically, just like hand gliding through the air on a hand glider with your carts. Um, you know, you can dive underwater with like your little submarine type things. And you know, it's it looks very interesting. And you know, I'd love to play that. Um, one thing, the next thing that really blew me the fuck away because you know I represent myself with one of the characters from the series, Star Fox 64 3DS is coming. And I, you know, I thought my heart was going to stop and I was going to jizz right there as I was watching it. 
Um, you know, Star Fox, you know, it's had its ups and downs lately, you know, after the N64 games of Star Fox, you know, it just really died down with Adventure and Assault, and, you know, it just, you know, I thought it really died for me until Brawl came and, you know, really gave it more life, but, you know, if they're gonna create, recreate any Star Fox game, I'm glad it's 64. You know, it would have been nice if we could get a, a whole new Star Fox, you know, with the same type of elements, but, uh, you know, just seeing Star Fox uh, have its day is a uh, bit enough. You know, during the uh, thing when they were showing the things, they actually even did the little peppy thing. Dual barrel rolls! So, it's kind of cool. Um, next, uh, what was the next? Uh, there's gonna be a new Mario. Um, to tell you the truth, I really didn't pay much attention to it. There's gonna be a new Super Mario for the 3DS. Um, the next game is going, is, um, actually very new. And it's a recreate of uh, one of the first ever GameCube games that came out, Luigi's Mansion 2, guys. Luigi's Mansion 2. Um, it's continuing. Six new mansions were uh, said. He's not going to only be in one. He's going to be in six new ones. Um, it looked like his vacuum thing had a, had a little more power and a little more elements to it. Um, same type of uh, gameplay I, I saw while I was watching... Uh, you know, Kind of the introduction to it, uh, but it looks to be promising. It looks to uh, really give Luigi more, you know, give Luigi more of the spotlight. Um, going away from that, um, there have been you know rumors going around the internet um, with the new Wii from Project Cafe and everything about um, you know a touch screen controller that revolutionized everything, and Nintendo did confirm that there's going to be the Wii, it's going to be called the Wii U, and uh, to tell you the truth, I was just, you know, the innovations that they made for this controller are just incredible, I mean, um, you know, it's just, it's like a, it's kind of like a miniature TV screen, it's like a portable uh, game, but, you know, you can't really take it out everywhere, it's really for living there. Basically what happens is, like, it has a camera in the front, so you can chat with people like, uh, webcam, uh, you know, let's just say someone wants to watch, uh, um, you know, porno on TV, like, hey, can I dick around and uh, jerk off while I'm watching this? They're like, sure. So you can just go in the other room, and the TV screen, the game that you're playing, automatically goes right into that controller. Um, you know, it's got a mic setting, it's got its own type of speakers, you know, you can plug in your... Um, you know, headphones so you don't bother your mother if she uh, screams and yells at you to shut the fuck up when you're playing uh, the online games. And uh, you know, it just uh, well, really cool. Like it's just touch. It's a touch screen. So like some of the games, like uh, with Ninja Stars, like you just glide your finger through the uh, to the screen and automatically cuts something and stuff like that. And uh, you know. Not really a lot of games mentioned for Wii. I think Wii kind of um, went on the backboard because, you know, they're transitioning. The only two Wii games that were mentioned to come out for uh, the Nintendo Wii were Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, and it wasn't mentioned in the conference, but there's going to be a uh, another Kirby game for the Wii. And uh, if you are like me and you were one of the people that uh, thought, oh, the new Kirby that they announced last year is going to be great, you know, Kirby Epic Yarn, and then you bought it, and then you played it, and then you just want to shoot your brains out. I mean, from the trailer, I, I could tell you it looks like it's like it was, you know, it looks like a duplicate to Kirby 64. So, you know, hopefully, I don't think this Kirby game will be a disappointment like the last one. So, you know. Uh, the Wii U, uh, no price was um, granted, but... I believe it's going to go to around the price of maybe 500 I'm hoping not, because God knows that I don't have the fucking money to pay for a new system. I can't even get my own PS3 or Xbox. So, you know, I'm hoping that uh, I could still stick with my old with my old Wii. And, you know, we're also, we also, all us um, game nerd hackers have to hope that someone out there, when they get the Wii U, they'll be able to hack that sucker so... Uh, you know, the new Brawl that's gonna come out for a Wii U will actually have all, all the cool-ass shit that we've done with Brawl. Um, so, you know, they, they did say there's gonna be a new Super Smash Bros. Didn't really go into detail about it. Um, going back to 3DS, I forgot, um, Kid Icarus Uprising, it gave a, um, 
a whole new uh, scenery to it. The storyline looks uh, fucking amazing. I mean, ever since last year when I first saw it, I was, you know, saying this is going to be the game for 3DS if any game that I want to get and if anything gave me a reason to get the 3DS, it's fucking Kid Icarus Uprising. And the gameplay looks absolutely magnificent. Um, there's an awesome multiplayer with it. You know, it just looks amazing. Um, there's been an update. Um, they're going to have virtual console type games and give it a whole 3D feel. Um, if you get the 3DS, they're also offering um, games such as Excite Bike 3D. And also, um, the update for the 3DS, you're also going to get uh, a game called Pokédex 3D, which basically gives you all these uh, little creative things that you can do, uh, Pokémon related, if you're into that stuff. I mean, it's not really related to gameplay and stuff like that. It's just really like, um, like Pokémon Ranch on the Wii. It's just one of those BS things that you don't really need. Um... But the Wii U is also attracting uh, many of the big games in the developing industry with uh, other consoles such as Assassin's Creed, uh, Ninja Gaiden 3 is coming back to Wii, uh, Ghost Recon, uh, you know, Tekken is going to be on the Wii, and also there's going to be a Tekken for the 3DS, but you know, fighting games on the DS, <laughs> on my book. So you know, it looked like... Um, was really going to go off well. I think uh, Nintendo blew it out of the park. I believe they did the same last year. I think Nintendo is uh, really looking up and it's really expanding to a better thing. Um, online capability, I think that they're promising uh, worthwhile online gameplay because I think that's going to make or break the Nintendo Wii system because gamers love to play online. Honestly, I don't. I like to be a single gamer. Um, but, you know, since and EA is really taking a liking to uh, the Wii and that's big because EA is really known for its work with Sony and Microsoft, so, you know. I mean, compared to Sony and uh, Microsoft, I think uh, Nintendo really made a name for itself. I think it's, uh, I think after all the things that have been happening Nintendo-wise, I think it's redeeming itself, and uh, I think that they're going to get back up and running. I just hope that I can afford the new uh, Wii U. So that's basically my uh, update and coverage on uh, what I think of the uh, spotlight on Nintendo, the E3 conference for Nintendo, updating on everything Nintendo related. Uh, this is my first time really doing a review type thing. Uh, I hope you guys liked it and uh, leave me your comments because um, if you guys really like uh, this review of what I did, you know, I've been kind of thinking of maybe doing some reviews on some games that I uh, own. So, you know. Uh, thanks for watching and, uh, you know, power to the players.